Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the video. Um, I just wanted to put out a question there at the beginning, so hopefully like my subscribers and everything can give me some feedback. So I've got some ideas for other videos that really don't pertain to storage units at all. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you think I should start a new channel for that or put it all on here? Um, you guys let me know in the comments and I'll basically go off of that and uh, we'll see what's going on. That would involve some of my friends, different type of stuff, just kind of... I guess more not storage unit stuff. So let me know what you think and thank you guys. Enjoy the video. What is up everybody? Happy new year. Um, yeah, this is probably gonna be late after new year, but I'm down at the storage unit back from Florida. I'm currently in the middle of sorting scrap. As you can see, I got bins out everywhere. It is cold kind of the, um, wind is blowing, which is making it cold, but I've got those two bins, these three bins, the bin I'm working on to go through from that unit that had the trailer in it. A lot of copper, a lot of brass, so should be a good scrap load. But that's really all I got going right now. So I'm going to get back to work. So the next day, um, it got really dark and everything, and I just kind of threw everything back together once I got done going through all the scrap. But I got everything kind of separated out here. Got to load it up in the truck and head to the scrapyard. I'll show you a little bit of what's what here in a second. So this one's all brass, basically up to like here. So pretty good amount, basically all clean brass. This one's all copper, basically all clean copper too. A lot of fittings and everything. Some stainless, there might be some brass in here. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, and we've got a little bit of wire, aluminum, and then dirty brass and copper. Christmas lights, a couple computers. Uh, just some other little pieces here. Those two bars. That basket. And I think that's really it. It's kind of a small load, but should be all right, hopefully. We'll see. All right, we're all loaded up. Got everything in here. Heading to the scrapyard. All right, guys, so I'm back from the scrapyard. There's a little list of what I had and what I made. Came out to $250.74, which I have right here. Not bad. I guess the clean brass and the clean and the copper number one was really what made up the money. So, can't really complain there. I like it. So now that I'm back here, I have a huge mess going on. I need to organize all of this and this to make space this is not going to be fun not going to be easy but i guess i'll see you when i'm done or an update soon as you can see it is now dark but i got a pretty decent amount done these bikes are just terrible when in the way made a little hole here stacked a bunch of stuff very high and then this is just kind of oddball stuff that I don't have anywhere to put right now. Kind of organized up this side, made a bigger path, which is nice. Made some more room over here. And that's about it. I'm heading out of here, though. It's like 38 degrees or something like that, so it's kind of cold. But I'm going to go play some cornhole and get some dinner and then go home. So I'll catch you guys here in a second for you guys, a little bit for me. So currently stuck because there's like a wreck or something and they have the uh, road blocked off. I was wrong about the temperature, it's 32 degrees. But hopefully we'll get through this or I'm not gonna make it to Hornhole. Fun, fun. So I'm back here with the trailer. 20 footer, full. All from that unit that was like two or three months ago. So I'm gonna start getting through it we're still getting through the trailer made a couple good finds already pretty early into this this um that one's still open. this porta plane is going from anywhere from like 80 to upwards of 200 dollars so that's not bad do have the toolbox here there's a chainsaw in there toolbox Bunch of tools. Down here's a lot of like 
pneumatic stuff and I think that's the word, I don't know. Just open this box. It has all these brand new Monster High dolls in it. So, I looked one of them open, it was going for like 40 bucks. So maybe I'll be able to sell all of them together. I don't know, but not bad so far. Can't complain. currently in the middle of testing out this um, receiver here mainly this Pioneer that seems to be working pretty well the buzzing is from this tape deck which I don't know why it's buzzing like that but it works and I've got it hooked up to these bows over here but this thing looks to be working pretty well so far which is pretty nice should be worth a decent amount of money so I'm back down here. The trailer is gone. I just parked that. Um, actually got through that in two days, which was surprising. Everything in there, but I have a ton of stuff. Like this whole pile here is all eBay stuff. A lot of toys, a lot of brand new toys. Um, and then this pile from basically here all the way over is eBay stuff that came out of that unit as well. Like this is all like American Girl doll clothing. These candle operas are pretty cool. They're more modern ones, but they're still pretty nice. Some tools down in there. Brand new cooking equi equipment. Tinker toys that we're selling on eBay. A bunch of this stuff. It's like all eBay stuff it's selling. I'll pull some of it out here in a little bit and show you kind of what I got. The um, flea market pile grew immensely. So it's all the way out to here now. Basically, it was back to like where that white thing was, which is like, I don't know, three, four rows back. A lot of flea market stuff out of that unit, as you can kind of see through the totes. Nothing really crazy, just average stuff. Some toys and more toys. A little bit of tools. I don't even remember what's in there, but some more tool stuff. Not too terrible of a unit. I can't really complain. I'll show you some of the stuff that's worth a lot of money. Um... Like this Lego set right here that's brand new. I think it's going for like four to six hundred dollars. So that kind of gives you a thought. Still have the toolbox to go through. Did find a whole bunch of this Spode Christmas stuff that sells really well online. I guess it's like an English company or something like that. But yeah, I'll get into a little bit of the other stuff here in a little bit. This is one thing that I pulled out. It was a, it's like a vacuum sealed wedding dress that actually... There's a couple of them that sold on eBay for, I think it was like 60 bucks. So, that's kind of cool. And then, I'll show you guys some of this stuff as I pull it out. I think I'd already shown this box, but it's all these Monster High dolls that are all brand new. I'm not 100% sure if I did show it, but they're all new in their packaging, which is pretty nice. This was another box. That is all, I believe, holiday Barbies all the way down to the bottom. Do not want to empty this box right now, but I think it's 2003, 2007. But it seems to go all the way to the bottom, which is pretty cool. And this box is completely full of all this Spode stuff, Christmas decorations, that are all in their boxes, except for this piece. But... Everything else is in their boxes. And then that stack of Spode stuff too. Still getting to the boxes. 
In here we've got basically all Lego sets. There's a few that are brand new and there's some that are opened, but basically all, but I think one of them are Lego sets. Like I know I never looked this up. It's a little character set. It was selling for like 35 bucks. So that's kind of cool. But a whole bunch of Legos, and then there's more over here that I'll get to in a second. And then as we move down, we've got a brand new Kirby tile brush holder, plus a um, shampoo system that looks to be brand new when I open the box. And then I do have a Kirby vacuum right there, which I think all that goes together. Kind of neat. I know that's the cell. So that's that box. And then we still have some more. In here we've got a few more pieces. There's a couple more Monster High dolls. A little Disney Cars Christmas tree. An M&M Nutcracker and then a Madame Alexander little porcelain doll. So now these two boxes are all littlest pet shop things. Like these are brand new in the box. That's brand new. Brand new, brand new. We've got a few other little playthings for them. And then a whole gallon bag full of the little figures and some more here and plus this little bag here so two whole boxes of that stuff which is pretty cool I think I mean not to play with but like to sell <laughs> like I know I looked one of these up and one had sold for like $150 it was kind of ridiculous but hopefully we'll get some good money for them and then we have a box with more another monster high doll Barbies more Barbies that are brand new 2010 2000 something special edition some more porcelain dolls so more holiday barbies and then here we've got four lego sets these three are opened but i think all the pieces are there this one is factory sealed um it's brand new and i looked it up few days ago there's the number if you want to look it up it's 4184 and it was going for somewhere between four and six hundred dollars brand new so that literally is lego set pays for the unit which is pretty neat i have another pirates of the caribbean lego set that wasn't in the box i accidentally threw the box away which i was stupid for doing but i ended up finding the legos later on but those are there that's the toys over here there's still some stuff over here that i'm going to go through here in a few minutes I showed previously some of it some of it not um i'm going to look up this is tools that came out of this toolbox yesterday because i cleaned this up it's all empty i'm good to go i'm going to look this stuff up real quick and then i'll give you a rundown of what's going on over here so we just got done looking up a bunch of this stuff some of these like tool parts and everything different things this whole bag's full of snap-on stuff this thing i really have no clue as to what it is if you know what this is let me know in the comments but it's Snap-on, apparently. I don't know. Um, we have this box over here. All grinding stones. Just a couple things. A pair of scissors in there. A Windows program. A rotor zip in there. A Snap-on grinder right there. Bosch, I think some more tools, nothing really crazy. And then I'll get to this stuff here in a second. And there's also this thing that I'm really not exactly sure what it is. It's marked Lamborghini on the top, or Lambadrini, something like that. But I'm really not sure as to what it is. So if you know, let me know. All right, so in this white little box, if I can get it open. There is a bunch of American Girl doll clothes and things of that nature. I really don't want it to fall. And this side opens up. There's a bunch of clothes hanging there, a little mirror. And then a drawer with a bunch of shoes and little other parts to it. So that's kind of cool. And then I also do have this little doll carrying bag too. That'll probably end up going with this. More stuff over here. This whole bag is full of Tinker toys which I guess large lots of them sell on eBay. That whole thing's full. We've got a bug zapper right there. That's brand new. I opened the box. 
a little Singer Tiny Sewing Machine, a Pittsburgh Torque Wrench, which these usually, usually sell pretty quick online. Looks to be about brand new. Another doll there. I know this I showed earlier. It's a portable planer. This brand new griddle that is brand spanking new in the box. And then we have this box that is completely full of Thomas the Tank Engine tracks, trains, little buildings, and everything. So that's going to go online as well. And then this bow also did come out of there. It's a Bear White Tail Hunter compound bow. Not terrible. I think it's like 50, 60 bucks, nothing crazy. And there were nine of these Easton Game Getter 2 arrows. So it's not too terrible of a piece. Why not? Did also find this little game set. It looks to be used, but most of them going pre owned with pieces and everything. Sounds like it has pieces, a bunch of pieces in there. Are going for like 75 to 100 bucks. So there's another one. Gotta love it. I found a few other things over here, like this trophy that had something on it, but it's a metal trophy. It seems to have a little bit of age to it. I'm going to try to sell that. This little collectible car, see if it's worth anything. A bunch more Build-A-Bear clothes. I sold a bunch of those earlier, before. Did find this USMC K-Bar. A little rough, but still not bad. Some other doll stuff. Oh, this is another one of those for the littlest pet shops that's gonna go in the truck. Bunch of doll accessories, doll clothes, doll clothes. More doll clothes. And I think that's really it. There are some more boxes of Legos in the truck, or in the trailer, I mean, that are just loose Legos, I believe. And then um, there's like 15 or 20 boxes of Precious Moments stuff, which is kind of annoying but that's really it i basically got through that entire trailer in like two days so it wasn't too bad but this unit's getting full really fast and i got the fridge right here sitting in the aisle that i need to clean up this chainsaw came out of there it does seem to work so that's not too bad and then i gotta get the toolbox listed all that christmas stuff and then a lot of ebaying wow it's really bad but that's really it for now so um Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah. So catch you guys again in the next one.